All right, it is a little after 8 o'clock at night, and I'm heading out post-Super Bowl to try and get my first night photography trip of the year in. Heading up to Buena Vista, Colorado, to try and shoot Orion and the Milky Way over the Collegiate Peaks. It's a windy night out tonight. Driving through the mountains in the winter always has the potential to be interesting, so... We'll see what it's like out there, but hoping for a great night out. So let's do it. Over a year, there was a particular composition of Orion and the dimmer part of the Milky Way over the peaks of the Continental Divide in Rocky Mountain National Park that I had been trying to get. But weather and other outside issues had prevented me from successfully executing it so far. So on the first weekend of February, I had planned to do it again. Unfortunately, the weather had other ideas and clouds covered the sky in northern Colorado. So I found myself driving three hours up into the mountains to Buena Vista to try and get out from under those clouds and find clear skies to get a shot of Orion. All right, after three hours of traveling, I've made it to the destination here, the Collegiate Peaks Overlook, where we're going to try and shoot tonight. So we'll get our stuff out and see what we can see. When you're doing night photography in a location you haven't tried it before, it's often tricky to guess just how much light the nearby towns might give off, even a town as small as Buena Vista. In this case, the light that was coming off from the town was just overpowering the composition. It's hard to bring out detail in the night sky when there's this much light coming off from below you. Fortunately, I had another location in mind to try out, just in case this might happen. All right, so what we ended up doing is, because there was too much light pollution up at the Collegiate Peaks Overlook coming out from Buena Vista, it was really putting this pretty serious light dome on our shots. So I had another spot picked out farther south, past the little town of Nathrop, along Highway 285. And there's a little pull out alongside the highway. It's a much darker area. And this is working out really well down here. I've been able to set up a longer kind of moderate range shot of Orion over Mount Princeton. And I also did a wider angle shot to kind of show Orion and the Milky Way over the Mount Princeton area as well. There's just a little bit of light coming from the Mount Princeton Hot Springs area, but overall, this is a much better location and has given us much better shots. Before I get into sharing the photos from my big camera, I wanna share this behind the scenes image that I captured using my iPhone 12 Pro Max in Pro Raw mode and Night mode together to capture a 30 second exposure set up on my Gorillapod on the hood of my Xterra. From left to right, you can see Sirius, the Orion constellation, Aldebaran, and the Pleiades clearly visible in the night sky. While it's still a fairly noisy image due to the very small sensor size and there is some odd color, it really is surprising the quality you can capture from that tiny phone sensor. A lot better than you could get up until very recently. If you're enjoying this video, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button so you can see all my videos coming forward. Here's the photo from my Nikon D750 with a similar angle of view to that shot from my iPhone. The difference in quality is still rather noticeable. There's a lot less noise and there's a lot more detail and color showing up in the sky, the stars, and in the Milky Way arcing overhead. What I'm 
doing from here is we've got Orion there right over Mount Princeton. So it's actually starting to drop behind it now. So fire off a few more shots here. And probably try a wider composition. But pretty cool shot. I've already taken my shots as I wanted to get those off before Orion sunk behind Mount Princeton over there. But what I've done for the shots is I've taken uh, 10 to 15 shots of the sky that I will stack for noise reduction at a shorter shutter speed, higher ISO due to shooting at a longer focal length lens than I normally do. And then I've taken longer five minute exposures for the foreground. And I will put that together with the stacked sky exposures in Photoshop and put them together to hopefully have some really high quality images. We'll see what they turn out like when we get them on the computer back at home. But I am really optimistic that this will be a good start to the night sky season for 2021. Here is that tighter shot of Orion using the blended exposures for the sky and the foreground to improve image quality. I love the way the different colors show up in this photo of the stars as well as the Orion Nebula clearly visible in the dagger just above Mount Entero. So I've done all my shots tonight with my Tamron 24-70 f2.8 lens. I did the tighter shots of Orion, probably somewhere in the 50 millimeter or so range. I wasn't really looking at that as I was doing it, but that's probably the range I did it in. And then I did a wider shot all the way out at the 24 millimeter to get a wider view of the scene, get more of the uh, dimmer part of the Milky Way in there and probably gonna be happy with both shots I think but this is my first time trying this lens for night photography I just got it a few months ago so I'm excited to see how these images turn out all right it is now 2 30 in the morning back in the Xterra time for that three hour drive back home got lots of uh, supplies to help me make it but I think this has been a good night. Good way to start the 2021 photography season. As it turned out, the long night caught up with me and I had to pull off into a roadside pullout to nap for about three hours before continuing on home. Of course, this led to me getting caught in one of those classic I-70 traffic jams coming down into Denver because they had a closure on the interstate forcing us off into Clear Creek Canyon. After an adventure of over 12 hours, I finally made it home safe. Four weeks later, on a cold and windy but clear night, I finally got my chance to photograph that composition of Orion over the Continental Divide in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's not bad for a first attempt, but I'll keep working at it to make it better. See you next time, and thank you for watching.